Hello and welcome to Engineering Simple. Today I would like to talk about complex numbers, so it's kind of an overview. This is, these are important concepts in uh, electrical circuit analysis. So this might be helpful for those preparing for the FE or PE as well as uh, engineers or students. So, so a complex number is can be written in the form as as say C is a complex number is equal to A plus J times B. A and B are real numbers. Real numbers like 2, 3, negative 1, so on and so forth. A J is a complex quantity defined such as such that j squared is equal to negative 1 or j is equal to square root of negative 1. So <clears throat> this is kind of it's it's one of the properties of complex numbers because usually you don't hear square root of negative num uh, of a negative number but this is this is allowed in complex numbers let me just add some space here okay so for instance let's assume c1 is equal to a1 plus j b1 and C2 is equal to A2 plus JB2. So if we want to add C1, so C1 plus C2 is equal to A1 plus JB1, so that's C1, plus A2, plus JB2. So if we rearrange the quantities, if we add the real parts together in the, what what's called the uh, imaginary parts basically the term that has j is called an imaginary part so then we would get a1 plus a2 plus j times b1 plus b2 so i'm just going to add space so that's add in two complex numbers and this is important in electrical engineering because you might have an imp two impedances and you want to sum them up if they are in series so you will have a real number which is a resistance and an imaginary part which is a reactance so we'll get that we'll get to that uh, in a different recording but for now let's just brush up the complex number uh, concept now if I want to do subtraction so if I take C1 so C1 minus C2 again C1 is just A1 plus J B1 so I have minus now I'm going to do C2 so it's A2 plus JB2. So I'm just going to simplify. So I have A1 plus JB, JB1 minus, minus A2 minus plus is minus minus JB2. So I'm going to rearrange so the real parts it's A1 minus 
A2 plus J times B1 minus B2. So that's subtraction. Should add some space. So now let's do multiplication. So C1 times C2. So C1 is just A1 plus JB1 times A2 plus JB2, which is equal to A1 times A2 is just A1, A2, A1 times JB2 is just plus J, A1, B2. JB1 times A2 is just plus J, A2, B1, plus JB1 times JB2 is J squared, B1 times B2. Earlier I said, and I'll highlight it, I said J2 squared is just negative 1. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to go back. So we can rewrite this as A1, A2 plus, I can simplify this, J, A1, B2 plus A2, B1 minus j squared is just minus 1. Minus 1 times times b1, b2 is just b1, b2. So I'll just simplify. I'll just rearrange this. So I'm just going to add the parts that don't have j term the, together then the terms that have a j term. Let's see. So it's a1, a2, minus B1, B2, plus J, A1, B2, plus A2, B1. I'm just going to add some space here. So for division C1, C1 divided by C2. I'll talk about that later uh, in the next video when we introduce a new concept. It's called complex conjugates because you need that to get rid of the J term from the denominator. So that's it for this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Engineering Simple to receive future videos. Next videos, I will discuss graphical representation of some complex numbers, like how you can do uh, addition and subtraction just via graphical representations. Uh, and I'll also talk about Euler's identity and more complex number operations. These concepts, as I said earlier, are very important in electrical circuit analysis. And it will, it will become more obvious when we talk about impedance and power. That's it for today. Thank you. Uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, have a good day.